Hello, my name is Angela from Angela Simpson Functional Medicine Physiotherapy. And I'd like to talk to you about uterine fibroids. And if you have one, you probably are dealing with some symptoms and they're probably affecting your quality of life. Often when women have uterine fibroids, there is heavy bleeding at the time of the cycle. Sometimes it actually happens at various different times within the month. It's not even just during the time of the period. Quite commonly, there is some spotting. And also there's often pain. And sometimes when it's very random like this, it's really hard to predict and it can affect your life in several ways. Often people will find that they are not able to carry out their tasks at work because they're bleeding so heavily. They're having to go to the washroom all the time, change. Sometimes they feel like they have to be at home more so. So there's several hours of work that are missed because of this. Often if there is uh, social activities or activities that you need to engage in um, with your family, just getting them from A to B, often you're having to disengage from this. So it is affecting your family aspect of your life as well. And often the pain, it is managed um, especially depending on how high the pain is, often women will have quite a lot of pain when they do have a uterine fibroid and they are finding they have to medicate either prescription or non-prescription. And when you are having to use this type of thing on a monthly basis, it can actually start to affect other systems in your body health-wise as well, including your liver health and your gut health. And so it is really important to come up with a solution for these uterine fibroids. And it's important to figure out the cause of where they're coming from. Because some women seem to be more prone to this. Sometimes it is reported that, oh, my mother had these and my grandmother and my aunt. And so it does seem like it's just something that you are um, genetically potentially predisposed to and it's in your family. But this doesn't mean that you can't do something about it. And it is true. Sometimes there are some genetics that can cause women to be more prone to forming uterine fibroids. And this actually can... Um, um, be also related to a condition called estrogen dominance. And so as women enter into their perimenopausal years, which um, sometimes is defined as 35 and beyond until you go through menopause, there are sometimes some fluctuations and changes in hormone levels that can make women more estrogen dominant, meaning there's more estrogen relative to the other sex hormones in the system. And if you do have genetics around estrogen dominance as well, meaning your body just doesn't flush and get rid of estrogen as easily and efficiently as it could, you might actually be more prone to having things um, come up such as uterine fibroids or other female health related conditions. And it is important to figure out the cause of why this is happening because if you don't and you fast forward five to 10 years from now, you potentially could be at risk for some other diseases developing such as female cancers, uh, uterine, breast, ovarian, and at this point you are going to have a bigger situation on your hands. And so this is all preventable if you can figure out how to get to the root cause of why you have the estrogen dominance, which is also quite commonly the cause for the fibroids. So there are some genetics um, sometimes that are commonly um, predisposing you to this and often there are also some lifestyle factors. And so quite commonly, if there is too much estrogen coming in, either for females, especially it can be products such as hair products, uh, skin products, makeup products. Uh, often there's a lot of xenoestrogens in these products and we're unaware of it. And so we do have um, excess estrogen coming into our bodies on a daily basis and it can start to build up over time. As well, sometimes it can come in from certain foods. So often conventional dairy foods, conventional meats, they often will have higher levels of estrogen in them. And again, if they're eaten on a free frequent basis, you can start to actually have a buildup happen over time. And the other thing to take note of is when we are actually um, getting rid of estrogen, which is part of a normal process that uh, all um, humans do, male or female, we break down estrogens and we utilize them for certain processes in our body. And what we don't need, we get rid of or we excrete or eliminate. And so if we're not actually able to do this efficiently, which is very common as we age, um, often we're just a little bit slower at detoxifying in our bodies in general. So not just estrogens, but other toxins coming in. Um, we are going to be more predisposed to estrogen related conditions. And so how do you get on top of this? What do you do and what is the plan for you? Well, it's really important to be identifying what factors are causing your estrogen dominance and looking at an individualized plan for you that's actually gonna help you reverse this condition. And this can help to not only reverse uterine fibroids, um, especially depending on the size of the fibroid, you might've already been um, suggested that you get surgery. Um, you can actually reverse this without getting surgery if you get to the root cause of why it's happening and start to get that estrogen being 
being broken down properly. You can sh shrink fibroids and you won't necessarily need a surgical procedure to do this. And so it is really important that you figure this out. And again, if you want to be preventative down the road, you don't want to end up with some sort of chronic disease, potentially even cancer, you really want to learn how to get on top of this estrogen dominance now. So if you want to learn more about this, if you're interested in learning how you can not only get rid of the uterine fibroid or fibroids that you've already been diagnosed with, but you want to prevent them in the future as well as other future health issues, please feel free to give me a call. I'm happy to have a free 45 minute consult to talk to you about this or some other condition that you feel is affecting your quality of life, especially if you are a female that is in perimenopause. I can be reached at my website, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca, and I look forward to speaking with you.